My mom got here finally yesterday night, last night, and yeah, it is very exciting. We finally got to spend some nice time together. I have two days off from work, so we can explore the city. The Nuremberg is famous for its Christmas market, so I can take you with us. I can show you some uh, places what are which are really nice, and we will eat, I think, some stuff also there, some German food, and there is actually lots of food. There is also so mulled wine and yeah all the stuff the weather is yeah so so it's not raining but it's so dark so my ring also got here today which is exciting after yeah almost one month i would say if you saw my last videos from paris where we got engaged the ring was very very big so we had to send it back to adjust it and I was scared, I was praying uh, so it would fit now, it fits good I think, so yay! <laughs> The Nuremberger Christkindles Markt is one of the oldest and most famous Christmas markets in the world. You can find a traditional, often handmade Christmas decorations and sweet treats such as gingerbread and speculatius almond cookies. Also lots of mulled wine and lots of lots of food. You can really feel this pre-Christmas atmosphere in the town with the concerts, music, church services and all the Christmas exhibitions. In the Franconian metropolis everything resolves around sausage and this for more than 700 years. So you should definitely try the famous Bratwurst. So I have some pumpkin curry and sweet kartoffeln curry and it is a very big portion and with some acai tea. <laughs> the food was so good guys, the portions were big. I had to take it to go because I couldn't eat it all. So uh, this um, bistro restaurant was actually on my list to visit, this vegan restaurant. We had some curry and some uh, homemade lemonade and it was yummy. She also liked it. <laughs> and it's raining and yeah, but whatever. So the plan was actually just quickly look through the Christmas market uh, because I wanted to go back when it's dark. I think the atmosphere is a little bit better and we are heading to the stores a little bit. So we wanted to do some little shopping. So the first stuff was Zara. Lots of stuff was in a sparkling party, Christmas party, New Year's Eve party uh, stuff. And they had also some sales. I found there these boots which were very cool they fitted me also good they were just for 35 euros with a 40% off but yeah I'm not sure if they were really comfy I like my boots and shoes very comfy so <laughs> I left them there they had a lots of very nice nice sweaters and I loved this jacket uh, this one was to me a little bit too short I like my stuff a little bit longer when it's very cold and don't look at my sweater it doesn't go together well but it was so cozy and I actually loved even more this other one and I love how huge is the color this jacket was very cozy very um, comfy and very very warm the next stop where we went was H&M and yeah I just saw there these two sweaters very shiny sparkling I thought that could be like very comfy but still special outfit so I'm going to try them I also like this white shirt and the medium fits me very good. Um, 
let's see I can leave you that below guys I also like the sleeves and it's a little bit oversized this is the longer one and this one has really wide sleeves maybe way too wide this is the medium size um, yeah I'm not sure which one I like actually better maybe I can try small size because the sleeves are actually really really long I'm actually not sure which one I like better so maybe I will just leave them here and we are going to the next stop there is also H&M home and yeah I really like these creamy beigey vases and decorations The lights are popping up already. Ciao! Hello! So now I'm Jacknesh. Ah, we are exhausted after walking around the stores actually. <laughs> they have, of course, all good stuff. And yeah, we are going to grab some coffee or maybe some drink. Let's see. Later on, we are going to eat something German and yeah we are going to enjoy the city in the night Sebastian is also coming after work a symbol for Nuremberg is the Christkind the idea that the Christkind brings children their Christmas gifts goes back to the Protestant reformer in Luther's time it was traditional to give children gifts on December 6th on the Saint Nicholas Day to turn away from the Catholic veneration of saints and saints days Luther laid giving in his household on Christmas Eve this year is the Christmas market open from November 25th to December 24th for the next year you can visit the Christmas market from December 1st to December 24th so that is gonna be in 2023 in 2024 you can visit the Christmas market from November 29th to December 24th eggnog I don't know how is it called but it's like cream with, with chocolate and waffle yeah Big shoulder, chicken and breast, and <laughs> Good morning guys! What a nice day we had yesterday. Um, it was a long day, lots of walking. There was so many people there than in the evening and it was quite a fight to find some restaurant to eat. It was everything full, it was so busy. Yesterday was the Saint Nicholas day but yeah, because of that the restaurants were very busy and we should have uh, made reservation. But at the end I think it was like 5th or, uh, or 6th restaurant which we tried. We got there one side of the table with this very sweet old ladies from America. So we got to actually talk to them and it reminded me the days when I was living in America. And yeah, it was very cool, very nice. We had some German food, as you could see. It was also good. After that, we also got to drink just some mild wine, the white one. I prefer actually the red one, the blueberry one. This one, yeah, it was also okay. Home, we made another round with the blueberry mild wine and this one was my favorite, I think. And yeah, we also went through the oldest stores, so... I wanted to buy actually so much stuff and you know do you have it also sometimes like that you want to buy so much that at the end you end up uh, not buying actually anything <laughs> so yeah that was my um, 
my situation right there i just bought from zara this uh black beanie just basic basic one nothing special and i really loved in zara this um grayish uh jacket that one is favorite i'm actually thinking about this jacket but yeah let's see and yeah today this morning we are taking it slow we slept in uh we had some breakfast and we are about to leave to shopping mall we need to buy some christmas presents and we wanna eat there also lunch and just spend nice day together so maybe i can show you something interesting there and yeah my mom is leaving tomorrow so it was a quick trip it was nice to have two days off I found uh, this bodysuit which feels very very good, I love the material, let's try it on, I'm not sure about the v-cut, it's maybe a little bit too too cut it, I like something like here, but it's it feels very nice on actually, thicker fabric is just in the front here so I'm also not sure if it maybe looks a little too weird. Um, yeah, but this one is 12 .99. it's very good I think. I grabbed a few more basic pieces which I think I need just, you know, something under jacket or blazer or something, so yeah. This has like very nice material. I like that one and I like this cut. The beige one is also cool. Yeah. This sweater is also cool. You know, just basic piece. And I think I will use it. I can leave you everything below so you can have a look. I would like those for the mountains, very cool. They have so many shoes here, look at it. Hey guys! So I will put you here. Is it gonna hold? Oh, not really. Maybe like this. So I just got from work. And yeah, my mom left today. It's a little bit sad moment. You know, uh, I don't know if you know that feeling if you are living all alone somewhere in a different country and yeah, someone uh, come uh, visit you. It feels always like, you know, more like home like your childhood or something like that and then when they leave it's a little bit sad we are actually going to drive after christmas eve to my family so it's like in two weeks so it's not that long um and yeah i was today at work yesterday we were again exhausted because we were walking all around and we ended up in this huge store with so many shoes it was wow <laughs> I just got some small things. Um, I wanted to show you that uh, again because I think these basic shirts from H&M, which I showed you, where are they? Before in the store, they are so good. I can link everything below so you can have a look because I feel like this material is so good. Uh, for the basic because sometimes it's just I don't know when you wash it one time it's not good anymore but I was looking for something like that and they are stretchy they are very soft and they were just 9.99 euros and I have them in medium I think I could even have them in small size because they are very stretchy so yeah I got it in this it's more like creamy white 
and then I got it also in the black one because black you can wear all the time <laughs> I think they have it uh, also in this dark brown I think something like my um, pulley I found there also this white of white um, it's like really light sweater with this little bit higher neck and it has this and also on the sleeves and also on the bottom here and yeah this one was 14.99 I think then I got just some um, beanie basic without anything from Zara this one was uh, 15.99 and yeah so let's see I don't want to put it right now on we also stopped in TK Maxx and if you saw my last video from TK Maxx, I was showing there this brown purse, which I really loved, but I didn't get that one. So she was there and that was the sign, so I got her. <laughs> so I really love this purse. I think the, um, the size is also nice. And this one was 28 euros in TK Maxx, David Jones, I don't know that brand. I can have a look if you can actually get her somewhere because my friend was actually already asking about this press when I was doing the video. I think it was like two months ago. She was like, yeah, I love that one too. You always like the same stuff as I do. So that was funny and I just got her. I will have a look and I will link it below in the description if I find her. So you can also get her if you like the purse. Yeah. And I got in TK Maxx also one kilo of sea salt uh, for bath. And this is some um, Christmas collection, uh, Merry and Bright, Sweet Oranges and Frankincense. So it looks like it's some Australian brand. It says it's made in Australia. And I love that in TK Maxx, can you get it? Yeah, this is 6.99 euros. So for I would say good price for one kilo. I'm excited to get some nice relaxing bath because I feel it helps always my whole body and mind. And you know, I put a very hot water, some relaxing spa music and just, yeah, it gives me energy. Okay guys, I think I will close up today's video right here. And yeah, if you have any questions, just comment below. I will try to answer that. I will be excited to do more vlogs like this. Maybe I can do one or two Christmas vlogs more. So this one was actually first ever. So if you like content like this, if you are new to my channel and don't subscribe, hit a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, comment below and I will see you next time. Bye bye.